Welcome back to A Year Without Spending Week 2, and because I sound so monotone and I'm so tired this week, I'm going to have to do this video in a really wild way. I gotta wake up, I gotta be alive, I gotta make a video out of it, and we're gonna make it a short one too, so here we go. Okay, welcome back, week two. So, my yearly expenses, wow. Well, here we go, week two. My weekly expenses this week were about $101. $98 for a gift for my brother and his bride, and $2 for sugar, which was an unplanned expense. Unplanned expenses are going to happen in a year without spending, and they're going to happen in regular years with spending as well. Wow, which is why you need an emergency fund. Now, emergency funds are about three to six months worth of living expenses. For me, that's thirty-six to seventy-three hundred dollars. You can keep emergency fund in, buried in the backyard, but you're going to lose a lot of money to inflation. So you should definitely <coughs> keep. Your emergency fund in something like a high yield savings account you could also keep it in your roth or cds that expire yearly but golly just put it in a high yield savings account it's a much better spot and that's it that's a year without spending week two goodbye this is just opinionated financial advice and not actually certified professional legal financial advice don't take it that way please do your own research and if you're opening a checking savings account to store your money in, to store your emergency fund money in, make sure that that money is accessible to you. There are no fees or restrictions that come with taking that money right back out of that account. It needs to be usable by you. And that's it. That's all I got. See ya.